Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Penny and Stocking ep with Garbell Episode 2. <clears throat> like last episode, there were two different, um, two different little episodes in one, and also uh, later I'm going to be selling all these for 40 bucks, because none of them are first editions, they're old. They're not really worth much of anything, so I mean, I'd be lucky to get that much. Anyway. Um, first episode, they are having to go and investigate a school because there are kids going missing, and, well, they need to avoid that getting out, and that is also not good anyway. So, the girls go to the school dressed in the usual uniform, and they end up meeting, uh... A boy, I can't remember what his name is for the life of me. That will come up later in the show from what I know. And the girl, the main villain, the popular girl, Miss Queen Bee. Miss Barbie, as she calls herself. And I'm like, oh my fucking god, why would you want to be associated with a Barbie doll? And the girls are just, Penny is just essentially loving this and that she's getting even more popular than Miss Queen Bee, which is infuriating her to the point where everybody, all the guys are getting rid of all their merch for her and putting out merch for Penny and stocking as well. And I'm like, yeah, you just got outed. Ha ha ha. Or not just got outed. She got, she got replaced is what she got replaced. <coughs> and then the guy from... <coughs> Sorry. And then the guy from earlier came up and said, Hey, could you please help? My friends are going missing. And come to find out that the popular girl is a ghostly bee. Can somebody explain that to me, please? And she had her little minions, her little worker bees, in controlling the rest of the, stu the, rest of the students. And they were able to easily take her out and now things are back to normal but um <laughs> Penny didn't stop there oh no you could probably guess what she did she kind of um you could probably guess what she did at the end but uh that boy with the orange hair orange curly hair we're not, that's not the last we're gonna see of him from what I know Anyway, the next little episode in this episode is something that completely caught me off guard. It's like a, I think it's like a parody, it's supposed to be, a, they're making a pair, they're Hollywood stars and they're making a parody of Sex in the City, I guess. And at the, uh, the debut of the movie at the red carpet, you know, the announcer guy is like, oh, this is Penny and Stocking's first movie debut, and blah, 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 and Penny got annoyed. It's like, this is not my first movie, and I'm like, oh, what was the, if they don't know, if they think that's the first one, then what other one you made was probably not very good, or something very scandalous, and it turns out it was the latter. She made a sex tape and broadcasted it to the world, which was stupid. That is career ending right there. You never do that in Hollywood. Because the internet, if it gets on the internet, then it's game over. Because you can never get rid of it off the internet. You can get rid of all the physical copies, but any digital copies? No. You would have to go to every, si even still, you would have to go to every single computer in the entire world and delete any files related to it. And even then, it would still be on the internet itself. And you can't, like I said, you can't get rid of it off the internet. And stocking, Pandy was being kind of stupid in this episode. Because she didn't realize that doing essentially what she did was essentially career suicide. And after some time, she finally realized that, yeah, she fucked up. And she tries to go and grab all the physical copies that were made of that sex tape... And they destroy all of them. And they have to go all over the freaking world to do this. And... Uh, st the final one was on the freaking space station, for crying out loud. 
and Penny essentially let Stocking keep that copy because she figured it might, if anybody's going to keep one copy of that, it might as well be her best friend. And at the red carpet debut, thankfully, Penny keeps her mouth shut. But she blabs to Stocking that they had cut her completely out of the show, movie, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what. I think it's a movie. Out of the entire movie. So it's just Penny in there. And obviously Stocking doesn't take this well. So you know what she does? She takes that copy of the sex tape and uploads it directly, I'm assuming, to their parody version of YouTube. Or Pornhub or whatever, wherever. Either one would have been bad. Both would have been, oh god. Yeah, I told you. If it gets on the internet, it's game over. So yeah, don't ma don't try and screw over your best friend. or Because uh, if they got some dirt on you, they will unleash it. Yeah, <laughs> that was kind of stupid. You would think Pandy would have been smarter than that. Because I thought that Pandy was decently smart, but no. No, no, no. Unless she's stupid when it comes to uh, Hollywood stuff. Eh. Anyway, I'll get this uploaded and I'll see you guys next time.